you're this perp back with another video and i just got out of watching wonka this is a brand new prequel uh starring timothy chalamet he's playing a young a much younger version of uh gene wilder's willy wonka but i will say i feel like this is kind of like its own thing i don't think this is necessarily connected to the og movie but it's kind of more a line of like getting a grasp of what willy wonka was before he got his factory which is pretty interesting some people might think it's unnecessary but after watching this it seems like they want to make this into a franchise that's just me maybe depends on how the box office does you might see a wonka too because i feel like we have yet to really get to the wonka that we meet at willy wonka's chocolate factory you know gene wilder's uh character and he kind of took this dark kind of turn in his life at some point so like i said this is a much younger wonka this is probably wonka like 20 or 30 years maybe around that time before we get to the events of the original movie but there are things that are very different that i've noticed like slugworth in this is black but they kind of explain it in a way to make it seem like all right he was probably due to just the circumstances of the will or something like that. it gets explained i'd have to probably watch it again to kind of get clarification but i'm pretty sure they explained it in because it's like slugworth in the original he's white but like i said maybe they're just going in the completely different direction and we're just going to kind of see a trilogy of movies kind of getting wonka and a little bit more of his backstory and just how he got to the point of shutting down the factory and going kind of in a little of a dark path but it's interesting to see a lot of the influences in this on like the golden ticket and why that means so much beyond it being all just about chocolate it has a lot more to do with the promise he made his mom and what his dream is which i really like the narrative of it you know what i'm saying um it is very goofy very whimsical at times and it's a full-on musical so if that's not your thing um yeah you might not enjoy a lot of the songs in this compared to the first one obviously where the first one definitely is a musical as well but they definitely crank up uh the number of songs that get played i definitely felt it i felt like there was a lot more songs in this some that i liked more than others but it is what it is so knowing like his inspirations what's driving him and what motivates him to be so infatuated with like chocolate and even like why he's able to do certain things that makes it look magical and him kind of getting that early start is very fascinating to me and i felt like that was the strongest part of this movie kind of getting to see that and seeing him and him inventing things in front of our eyes you know on the fly and just having other people in awe even if they hate him like we have our main antagonist the chocolate cartel and when i originally heard the whole kind of plot or the synopsis of this talking about like there's going to be this chocolate cartel i already knew that was going to be the silly goofy aspect that maybe not everybody will like me i wasn't the biggest fan i felt that all three of them were kind of a little forgettable menacing at times but just very generic there wasn't really too much to their characters personally but it's just like you see this town being ran by this chocolate cartel that everything's run by chocolate they got a corrupt uh system going on and willie gets kind of caught up with these scammers when he gets into town he doesn't read the fry and prints 
And then, then we get introduced to the younger girl in here named Noodle, which she plays a huge pivotal part in this movie as well, which I won't spoil. So you can go check that out for yourself. But I find it to be pretty fascinating. Like I said, it, it seems like they want to turn this into a new kind of franchise. I could be wrong, and this could just be a one-off, and it doesn't get so much success over the holiday weekend, what I, which I doubt because I think this is a really good movie to watch during the holidays. You know, I think a lot of families are going to be watching this during Christmas. I think it's going to still have some legs and surprise some people because I think it's a decent movie, even though there are flaws with it as far as like the pro, uh, the antagonist. But I like everything that they did with Noodle and, you know, his relationship between his mom and just his connection with people and wanting them to kind of live out their dreams or whatever they want to do without any restrictions and i like this movie i thought it was pretty it was pretty good it was better than i i thought it was going to be initially um i think timothy timothy chalamet plays a pretty good young wonka now kind of actually watching the full film he kind of gets the mannerisms down and the just the over the topness that his character is at some times and i like the early explanation of how he came across the oompa loompas like that he's known one oompa loompa for about three or four years he's just been kind of following him i just liked how that kind of played out and where that could possibly go and just the other people that he meets along the way um these other people that also didn't read the dotted line um i'm drawing a blank on all their names i know one of them's larry yeah i just don't got all their names now but they're dope as a supporting cast as well overall definitely would recommend checking out this movie in theaters if you get a chance especially if you are looking for a movie to watch with your family, go out and, you know, watch something big on the big screen that's going to be mystical, whimsical, all that of the above. And, you know, have a really just solid time in the theater watching. I would recommend checking out Wonka. Uh, if you do get around to checking it out, let me know your thoughts of it. Did you think this movie was terrible? Complete mid? Or you thought it was like me better than you expected perfect masterpiece let me know your thoughts in the comments below till next time i'm out peace